government leaders to speak at annual United Nations meetings. More than 80 heads of state and government have registered to speak in person at 193-nation UN General Assembly in New York. On September 21, the annual UN meeting will begin a week-long general debate on the world situation. The presence of high-ranking politicians and diplomats is a big difference to the atmosphere at UN meetings in 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic forced lockdowns and cancelled most travels. UN meetings last year were mostly empty of participants. A provisional list of speakers showed that leaders from Brazil, Britain, Canada, India, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Pakistan, Turkey, Russia, Venezuela, and the United States are planning to personally deliver their speeches. Other leaders who cannot attend in person will send pre-recorded speeches to the meetings. U.S. President Joe Biden will be among the first speakers. The White House said Biden will use his first address to the Assembly to send to other world leaders the message of his presidency, America is back, to draw a sharp contrast with his predecessor. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the UN General Assembly this year will be held at a moment of great challenge and division. He said the challenges include conflict and climate change, deepening poverty, exclusion and inequality. These challenges are worsened by the divisions, scarring our world. Divisions between the rich and poor. Gefteres called for ending the wars on each other and to focus on fighting the common enemy which is the pandemic. The members of this assembly must speak with one voice, we need peace, now, he said. Leaders of governments, business and other organizations will hold a high-level dialogue on energy. The UN said the dialogue should provide an opportunity for all participants to present plans and commitments in the form of energy compacts. Over 100 energy compacts have been submitted from organizations in over 26 countries. Those compacts aim at boosting access to electricity and clean cooking, and sharing renewables and energy efficiency. Among the large-scale energy compacts already previewed, the Rockefeller Foundation and IKEA Foundation have committed $1 billion to spearhead a new global funding platform, and empower 1 billion people with access to distributed renewable energy, such as mini-grids. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development EBRD, pledged to invest an additional $1.3 billion by 2023 to finance district energy investments and other services as part of its Green Cities program, in nearly 40 countries. To stay up to date with the latest news on the United Nations and the world, make sure to subscribe to this Facebook account by clicking the button above this video. See you next time.